Costa Rica is located in a very interesting part of the Circum-Pacific subduction system. It's uh, really interesting because uh, it has uh, the interaction, interference of several ingredients. For example, well, we have a subduction of oceanic lithosphere formed at two different spreading centers. One is the East Pacific Rise, that is uh, trending more or less uh, southeast uh, northwest. And the characteristics of East Pacific Rise is to produce this uh, very, very smooth uh, oceanic lithosphere. Instead, the striking uh, east-west, more or less, uh, there is the Cocos Nazca spreading center. And this one, uh, mostly because it interacts uh, with the Galapagos uh, hotspot, which is basically, you can um, visualize it as a non-stop volcano, always uh, producing material, and it has produced material for a very long period of time. So, Due to this interaction, mostly, we have a production of oceanic lithosphere and oceanic crust that is very, very complicated. With the Cocos Ridge is the main feature that we can see, is uh, this uh, a seismic ridge that is uh, about uh, uh, two kilometers uh, high on the average seafloor. And not only has uh, two kilometers high, but is also very deeply rooted. So if uh, the normal, say, East Pacific rise has a thickness of about uh, eight kilometers, the Cocos Ridge has a thickness of about 20 kilometers. And the Cocos Nazca Spreading Center has not been stationary, but has jumped at least uh, three times. There is another important feature here, that is uh, the boundary between uh, the Cocos Plate and the Nazca Plate, which is um, a fractured zone, uh, a transform fault, probably, and it, that's the Panama Fractured Zone, which is a north-south uh, fracture. And uh, this is uh, right now located uh, beneath the southwest part of Costa Rica. So what you have here is really a triple junction that is migrating uh, along the trench. You have uh, a triple junction trench trench transform fault that is uh, interfering with the cocos. There are lots of seamounts that have been created by the Galapagos hotspot. And these uh, very different uh, pieces of uh, oceanic lithosphere formed at different uh, uh, spreading centers. So it's a very complicated part of the world. But it's also very fascinating because, uh, if you wish, it's a very unique place where we can study lots of uh, different processes. For example, it has a very active uh, volcanic arc, so we can uh, study the whole system subduction volcanic arc. It's a very active uh, seismogenically, so we can uh, study the processes that are related to earthquakes. It's a very unique place uh, in the world where we have uh, lots of processes, very concentrated, and if you wish, they are so exasperated that uh, they are easy to study because uh, everything is occurring so rapidly that uh, it's uh, another factor that uh, can help us understanding what's going on. So it's a very unique place, this one.